Today, Tracy is gonna show us a gel fill with the new Synergy Gel Precision Applicator. Also, a little bit of nail art on top. You're gonna to see it all in real time. Today, Tracy, you've got a gel fill with the new Precision Applicator. Yes. Um, I'm excited to see this, plus you're adding nail art. Walk us through what you're gonna do, please. So, tube applicators, uh, obviously a fill is, it's quick. Right. But uh, now I don't have to, I do not, it's just right there. Right. So nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit. Um, and then we're gonna throw in a neon ombre. Because, okay. Uh, yellow, because that's really popular right now and I'm a, a little obsessed. Yeah, I've seen it. A lot yes. of the posts on Instagram, I think you've mentioned yellow. that before. Yeah, it's yellow. yellow. But it's summer, so we need that bright pop, yep. and this is perfect. Yes, and the picture that I kind of have went with is, it was actually done with cover pink acrylic, mm. or cover blush, sorry. Um, but we are doing gel, so we got to mimic that look. Right, exactly. And um, easier, quicker doing a fill with a precision applicator, I'm going to assume yes. Super easy. Yeah. Super easy. Because you don't have to go. You're not grabbing the right. pot. And everything's right there. Everything's right there. Nice. How much time are you going to need to do this? 29 minutes and 59 seconds. <laughs> okay, 29. We're scheduling 30. <laughs> 29, 59, you said it. We're going to stick with that. That's one whole second. Does it have to be on the dot? It's got to be on the dot. Okay. You time it? Sure. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okie dokie. Let's get started. How are you, Steph? Good. Good. Gonna start, of course, by pushing back those cuticles, getting that gap in there, making sure we have room to do our fill. When I'm going through this, I'm really just kind of looking for any lifting, cracks, any problems. And of course, I do want to push them back too, but that way I'm multitasking. I'm not trying to have her tell me as they come in which clients love to do they kind of stop and they want to show you every single finger i'm just taking off the glitter real quick and looking i saw that you had a couple um of little lift spots so we're going to take care of that and a couple cracks so we're going to make sure but that's what i was doing while i was pushing back these cuticles is really checking all that stuff out and again we just don't want to have i mean we want to hear the client they can tell us while we're going about what happened and how the dog ate it and all that different stuff. But you always, always, always want to be in motion. Okay. So, you have, actually I think this one's acrylic, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mostly you have the tube gels on. You have on the other fingers. How long has it been since you had your fill? I think two weeks. Two weeks. So I think when you are trying to work on speed, when it comes to salon, you really want to have, sorry, my head, you really want to have in mind the timing. So she is two weeks. We're just going to do a regular fill. So I'm going to schedule her 30 minutes. That's going to require me to really make sure that my day stays focused and on time. Um, but again, I love being in control of my books because I know how long each client's going to take and what they're gonna need. So, do we have any questions? Well, actually, I don't even have to do those because we gotta come back and do the prep work. There's a little crack. So when I'm fixing the crack, I just come through really quick and kinda, how do I say this? I expand the crack. You don't wanna just kinda come in with a fine bit and just fix that little crack part. You kinda wanna go past the crack. It's like filling a pothole and then that way it won't re-crack on you. Okay, so I'm taking, I didn't see my medium, so I'm gonna use a medium sandy man today. So we're just gonna go in, make sure we were prepping nice and clean. And I know guys, I am very, very grateful that Steph has good cuticles. And I know some, didn't some people say they were gonna send me some pictures of mm -hmm. their clients? I, I actually want to do a real time on Habib. <laughs> So you guys can see what it's like with uh, someone that has, no offense to be bad cuticles. <laughs> so, um, but I feel, I really do believe guys, once you start maintaining, if your client's coming in every two to three weeks, they're gonna have fairly nice cuticles. It's 
not going to be much. It might take you a time or two, like going to the doctor and getting a prescription. It takes a couple times to get better. But after they've been following the prescription and keeping it out of their mouth, <laughs> the <bead. laughs> um, it gets better. It's good for clients to take home some cuticle oil as well. I, it's actually really, really helpful for a client to take home cuticle oil. And here's the funny part, and I don't know about you, but I actually was taught that cuticle oil caused lifting. Um, and I'm thinking there are some oils out there that you probably don't want to use, but our oil has that rose and the vitamins and it just really is um, really great for nourishing the cuticles, which is going to keep it soft and supple. It's going to keep your nails from um, separating underneath and it helps with lifting. So I think that's a great idea. You give them one for uh, the holidays and then you can retail it the rest of the time. Yeah, we have those nice little holiday packs yeah. with the quarter ounce. It does make a huge difference. So we're just going through again, just real quick. Grab a brush, go get it clean real quick. I see people spending all their time like scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing. Just a quick scrub, get it all out of there, and you're good to go. What is your take on the Russian manicure style? Like when you do a ton of the cuticle work, what are your thoughts? Um, I think, ha, it's a good question. Uh, I think you have to be careful. That's what I think. I think there are some people that are very trained with it and um, they would not damage the client. And then there's people that I have watched. It's, I guess, anything with the electric file, right? If you're not trained or not doing it correctly, you can cause damage. And I, I watch a lot of the videos where they're kind of literally lifting underneath that cuticle. And that stresses me when I see it. I'm like, oh, don't do that. You know, um, I, I'm not a f big believer in cutting back the cuticles. Um, only if there's a hangnail um, do I do that. And usually, guys, it's just a little tip and trick, too. If you, she had a hangnail right here on the side, I probably wouldn't take care of it to the very end. And then I would clip it because if you clip it first and then go and hand file or electric file, you're probably going to cut them. So take care of it after and then you don't have to worry about it. So I'm gonna grab that base. Guys, again, base is very important to our gel services. It's what everything is really gonna connect with. It's not a lot of product. We're just gonna put it on really quick. It doesn't have to be over the whole surface of the nail. I just like to blend it out a little bit. And keep going. And yes, if you guys are watching, you can totally, because she had that one finger I was just on, is actually an acrylic nail. You can fill, you can fill acrylic with gel. It's not a problem. So let's say a client is a nail biter or they are um, got ski slope, something damaged, where you are like, I really think they need acrylic, but in the end, they want gel or you like working with gel, um, you can just start filling them with the gel. Doesn't work always that well doing it the opposite way. Filling gel with acrylic, I usually would suggest almost taking everything off before you did that. Okay, get in that crack. There you go. How long does the base need to cure? Base is gonna cure out for 30 seconds, so you're good to go. So usually it's just by the time you're done working on the other hand, you're, you're set. So we're gonna grab our tube, guys. We're just going to fill, remember, it doesn't take much. I'm just pulling out a little bit in there, and then I'm just using that applicator, pull it forward. Don't overthink it. If there's a couple lines or a little, little uneven, it's okay. Gel files so incredibly easy. It's just not necessary to make everything nice and even. So we're gonna, and that's what I'm always thinking about, like, is it worth spending my time on something? So is it worth my time to make this all nice and even when I can take my hand file or my electric file and do it in two swipes? It's not. So it's, you gotta, you gotta really, as you're going, each thing that you're doing, you need to decide like, is it important enough or will it be handled in another time? For instance, like shaping, I don't know about you, Steph, but I see a lot of people shape their nails. 
before they ever even go into doing the fill. Right. And then you have to reshape after. Uh, did I get, no, it's good. So just gonna put there, go ahead and in, 60 seconds. So okay. it's, it's not worth it. Like why shape and do all that? The only time that I will mess with the length is if they're going extremely short. Then I will sit there and cut them back, but again, not shaping them. Gel in there. Sorry, head. Right, kind of a time-saving technique is to just not be doing things multiple times. Right. So why would you want to shape and shorten at first when you're going to go back over a second time and short or shape again? Exactly. It's like it's it's you're spinning your wheels. Same with the application. If you're trying to make a perfect application to just go through and file anyway, it just is kind of repetitive. Exactly. So we've got to fill your little pothole here. Bring you into the shot. Back. Squeeze it out. Connect it through. Make sure you have enough there. There you go. We done with our 60 seconds? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Let's get our swipe. Get that sticky layer off. So now here's another little tip. Sometimes it's not even worth grabbing the hand uh, the letter file because there's hardly anything for me to do. So we're going to, oops, move the towel. Just going to go through and take care of it with a couple wax with our hand file. So I am a big electric file user. Obviously it's time saver, but I always come through with my hand file just to refine and there's so little work to do with this fill that we can just go straight into the hand file. Blend everything in. What grit file are you using? I'm using my 150, which is my favorite. Use it for acrylic gel everything. So with the gel applicators video, have we had any questions recently? Are they refillable? No, they're not. They are not refillable, but they are almost 60 grams worth of gel. So there's quite a bit in there. Yeah, same as our pots. Right. So it's, it's yeah, a good so, amount of product. Yeah, you're gonna, it's gonna be a while before you go through it. So with the filing, I'm just kind of looking, you wanna make sure everything is blended into itself with the pressure it just depends like with gel it files so quickly so easily that if one side's a little higher like this side i put a little more pressure as i come through i lighten up the pressure just to blend it in all the way through and then in a second we're going to flip it around and we're going to look at it from her point of view because that will save you a lot of frustration and a lot of time. Instead of having the client sit there and tell you there's a bump, you will see it yourself and you can take care of it quickly. This, I think I've said this before, this really sets you apart in your look because there are a lot of texts that don't actually do this and there's a huge difference and the look when you do. Blend it in. So. Can you use a brush with the applicator system if you wanted to? Absolutely. There is a, a couple um, situations where, well, first of all, like when I mix glitter, mm -hmm. I have to use the brush mm -hmm. to uh, apply it. Or let's say I'm just trying to do a little bit and kind of smooth it out. I'll grab the brush real quick. Yeah. There's, there's nothing wrong with the brush. Why is base not in a tube? That's a good question. So base is not in the tube because we don't build with base. We have to push it in. It's just a nice thin layer. So it doesn't take long to do. There's no floating. There's no building. There's no 
it's, it's easy. You're just brushing it on like you would a polish. Mm -hmm. Whereas the builders are more of a floating. And if you can't get that float, you're going to run into issues. Mm -hmm. so, that, so far, it's the way it has to be. Makes sense. I can use base for everything. I even use it for like a, my hard gel, I mean my soft gels. Yeah, I like to use Synergy Base under my gel polish to give a little bit, like a kind of a baby overlay. Gives mm -hmm. them a little bit more strength than gel polish on its own. So yeah, because you're not worried about the soaking, right? You're right, I don't, yeah, I don't soak off, so it doesn't need to be a soft gel. Right. So if you're not worried about it and you need that little added strength, it, it works great to use that uh, the Synergy Gel Base. I actually, I think someone taught me that. One of the mentors taught me that, and I was like, oh, save. It's, it's huge. Yeah. So we're just going through quickly. Get all in there. Making sure we're running it right along that cuticle area. It's so important to season your files. Make sure you're not going to cut your clients. Again, I've been cut, so it's like one of my big, 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 big things is season your files. Mm -hmm. So I think I've seen a lot of comments on I seem rushed when I'm doing this. This is just how I work. It, it, it's no different in salon. Actually, this is more difficult. There's a lot more rules to doing this and staying in shot and not getting my head in the way and all these different things. So this, I'm not rushing to, to get in a certain time. This literally is just how I would do it, whether I'm working on Steph, a client, uh, it would probably be a little easier if I was in a salon. Um, I'd be doing it all day, which helps increase your time. Plus, I'm in my own element and I can get all up in the nails uh, and get my head in the way and it doesn't matter. But, cool. Awesome. Your feel is done. I think like in salon, Especially you start to get so used to your steps that it becomes almost kind of autopilot. Yeah, exactly. And you just start working through what you know needs to be done. Um, and as you always say, you know, technique first and speed comes second. It's so true. So for people looking to cut your time, just keep doing it. And eventually you'll start to notice you're getting, you know, caught, or you're starting to get less and less. You're, yeah, you get faster and faster and, and like before you know it, just, you shock yourself you're like oh crap i just got that done in 30 minutes or an hour whatever it is um most important guys is just once you're done with a step just walk away you don't need to go back to it just leave it alone see this one real quick and even like stuff like this guys i if i see something i'm not gonna go oh i have to i'm i i'm just gonna ignore it because I have to be in a certain time frame. I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna fix it. There's just a little couple bumps. Swipe really helps to kind of see everything. If you are wondering if you need to do any more filing, swipe it real quick. That'll tell you everything you need to know. Okay, let's remove this towel so I don't get this dust in it. And go. Okay, let's grab our, we're gonna grab rough, tough, and in the buff, go time. First, we're gonna grab our protein bond so we don't get any chipping and get it on. This is gonna save you a lot of grief if you guys do this. This will just ensure that you get no chipping. Make sure you're not buffing or oiling. I've seen some people do that and they're like, well, I cleanse it and I, I swipe it really clean. Why even chance it? It's just an extra step you don't need. That's why we have gel top coats now. They took away the need to buff. Time saver. Gel Huge. likes a rough surface, right? Gel likes a rough surface, totally. 
So let's get this on. So we're going to just, I like the look of Rough Tough and the Buff over Concealer Pink. It's just that little extra pinkness to it. Even uh, Manicure, well, let's see, Sheer Pink 102 mm -hmm. is also a really great one. Sprinkle you some glitter. We're going to use Crystal to mimic that cover blush that um, she used. Mm -hmm. I like to kind of do a couple and then put the glitter in it because it stops any movement and keeps the gel in its place. That's what I like watching the way you, that you work because some may see it as rush, rushed, but it's very thoughtful. Like there's a reason why behind everything you're doing. Yeah. We try to just what's going to work. Like I don't have, to, I don't sit here and go, I have to do all five fingers with the gel before I do the glitter. If I'm worried about it moving, sprinkle glitter. If you're really worried about it moving, put it in the light, mm -hmm. work on the other hand. If you're always in motion, you're going to be, you're going to be going fast. Yeah. You just don't want to stop what you're doing and wait exactly. for something. That's why it always kills me with like, um, gel demos because mm -hmm. people are like oh that takes forever it's like no it's a demo it's one nail yeah it's like you're waiting for the base then you're waiting for one coat and then if you do a second coat so it does seem like it's going to take forever but gel's so fast because you're just always moving we used to have these little bottles that i loved for i called it fairy dust i would stick the crystal in yeah and it just kind of you um pumps the, the bottle and it just kind of lightly sprays it everywhere. I need to find some of those bottles. Um, Pat Parrish used to have glitter in little tiny salt shakers. <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs> yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah, it worked really well. Okay, we'll get that on. And how do you feel about all the glitter you're wasting? I feel like I'm charging you for it, so I'm cool. <laughs> Okay, and there we go. In the light, let's pull out our airbrush and get going on our yellow ombre. I think I'm gonna spray white first, just to get a base. And then that way that yellow will be a true like neon yellow that I'm looking for and not yellow yeah <laughs> get a nice little pop yeah I, I, I don't think any clients ever walked in and said can I have pea yellow no yeah. let's see if we can get it going oh, that's gonna be difficult on me let's clean it real quick this is part of it right real time real time here we go. Huh? Get that top of white on there. That way that yellow is just really nice and true. Huh? The airbrush is 100% a time saver. Oh gosh. I, I, I don't know, guys. I don't know how you're doing ombres without it, to tell you the truth. Let's clean it real quick. Um, I, I think I would charge a lot of money. I, I see it's it's such an art. And there's some people that are like, you have to do it that way. You have to do it the hard way. Really, the look is the same. Why would you kill yourself if you didn't have to? Yeah, for anyone with the comments that will say, but how much time would it take doing a regular ombre? That's kind of the point of this series, yeah. is to shorten your time. Shorten your time. So That's a good time for. saver is the airbrush. Yeah. That's in, people will ask that about the even the electric file. Like, well, can you sh do one with without the electric file? I'm like, I just, I would never, I would never do nails without the electric file. Right. So... And I've had people ask that, like, what would happen if, fixing it real quick, if uh, you couldn't 
you know, the power went out or whatever. I'm like, I'd cancel my day. Yeah. Go home. Reschedule. <laughs> Reschedule. Hit it another time. Get a portable. Okay, let's make sure you're in shot and get that on. I love these. Do you? Yeah, nude and neon is like my favorite combination ever. That's a good thing because that's what you got. For I like, like that little minutes. glitter. <laughs> yeah, for five minutes. <laughs> what are we doing? Five videos today or something? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, can't we do these ones last? I want to keep these ones. <laughs> it's always the ones that you I really know. want. Every time. Like for me, it's like whenever they do pink, that means yeah. I'm not getting my nails done for a while. Yeah. Like, cause I hate pink. Actually, I should just say I'm, I'm, I'm getting used to pink. Yeah. Me and pink are, we're getting that understanding. Going to light, we're going to cure that for two. Did I turn it on two? Yep. And get you here. Oops. It's always helpful when your client can help. Mm-hmm. Get that on. What top coat are you using? I'm using the stain resistant top coat. And no particular reason. It just works really well. It works well with uh, the airbrushing, but so does finish. I use finish a lot. How do you avoid chipping with the airbrush? So if you're having chipping issues, there could be a couple reasons. Either you're getting the surface way too smooth or you're putting on the airbrush paint too thick and that'll cause chipping issues. Go ahead and go in. And actually this is stain resistant, so I only needed a minute. Let's grab our swipe. We are ready. This will help clean you off. And take care of that sticky coat too. I do like these. Me too. I kind of want them. I know. <laughs> Sorry, we have to take them off. Sometimes with stain resistant, the residue is a little heavier. It is. A lot of people will say, uh, or I've, actually I've felt it myself sometimes. It's like, it's a little sticky still. You just really need to get a good amount of swipe on there and I'll scrub it at, like twice. Plus I'm waiting for your other hand to cure. <laughs> still moving. Still moving. Cool. And... I love them. It really, it really does look like blush. It does, right? Yeah. Because a lot of people are like, why don't you guys have cover blush? I'm like, make it. Make it. Okay, let's oil. And we are almost done. And you finished too early. Should I wait? <laughs> should I wait a couple more seconds? Yeah. Make it to 29? Let's hold it. Let's see. Just double check it <laughs> since we have time. Cool. Done. Twenty six minutes and forty five seconds. That set of nails. Yes, I say this all the time, but some of my favorites. But in twenty six minutes is <laughs> crazy. Trace and I just had this whole conversation off camera. The whole point of doing this series, like I say, I don't know how many times, is so that you can take what she's doing, learn from it. Twenty six minutes. That transformation is again, it's crazy. I love this set of nails, Trace. Talk about the process. It's it's all about learning the technique. Yeah. That's that's the most important thing. I don't even want people to stress about the speed yet yeah. until they got the technique. The fill. Yeah. And okay. then once you have the process, you really kind of just go on automatic pilot and just think to yourself, like, 
don't repeat that. Like, is it worth it? I think I talked about that yeah, during. Yeah. Is what I'm about to spend time doing gonna matter in the end? Right. It, it, do I need to level it out or will I file that down? Right, you know, right. Things like that. And then once you start picking up that little tips and tricks, then all of a sudden you'll notice the speed comes. See, I can't help as a business person. Like I start, I see you do this 26 minutes and I'm just calculating the potential of like what you can build your business to be. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> it's it's crazy. I love it. And the final product that you're delivering is, it's beautiful. That's a thing. It is quality. I know Steph can wear that set of nails for the two to three weeks. Two minutes. Two minutes Until because we take it off. yeah, because we have another set planned. <laughs> While the lawnmower thingy is blowing in the background, by the way. Multitasking. Multitasking, exactly. But it's amazing to me. I always see the potential in that. I really hope that you take what we're doing here and use it to build your business. Tracy, again, I love these nails for summer. Great job. Thank you. We'll see you next time on Real Time.